going to go down, leaving Chubbs left as a solo player. He got caught out at the tail end. Into the top six we go. You're talking about a solo player, but five eliminations so far. He's ready and up for the challenge, just like Trash. You can see him bobbing and weaving, trying to get the information. What is the best play? He goes up. He tries to go forward, landing on end pen and chest. That's not going to be the play. He gets denied for now. Back into the storm to grab that second chocolate ever. Without any builds, this is going to be his best opportunity to move around and cause some chaos. I mean, in chaos indeed is caused as Trashy lands a massive shot here, but he's going up against the duo. He needs to be careful. He cannot overextend in a fight like this, especially with no build left. He gets the knock. Will he be able to hold it down? He gets two. He gets two eliminations to finish off that duo. He goes back to back, keeping himself oh. alive, but he doesn't get the siphon to go through and keep himself going. Now it's down. End pen and chest. The only duo standing, but Aoxy, he has the world on his shoulders, and it's not going to be enough, though. It's end pen and chest Junius with 11 eliminations here with the minimal resources that he has he's going to have to find something here if he wants to stay in this game and he's looking my man when this guy shoots he don't miss so the way he's looking to be shot is gonna be huge he's actually gonna go for hype wait this is so risky for him to take out high ground and focus them but sure enough it does end up working in his favor causing Iamzo a little bit of damage but it's not gonna be a good exchange as Iamzo rise end up cleaning them up and we got four teams remaining here in the final moments and they're all superstars of the region and you can see cold making sure to mend miss acorn up that challenge for the high ground is going to come through but he flies right past landing just a short shot on the Amzo. acorn ends up in the wrong box he's under pressure but he's going to be able to survive cold making sure that these clutch plays he's known for is going to follow him to the fncs finals Acorn and Cole must have heard Z talking that trash there in the pre-show because they're coming back. Not only are they coming back, five, six, seven, eight eliminations as they hold on to the final moments. Cole going to challenge fast there on height. Then go for the low ground, takes out Jackson, and now it's a 1v1. Ice in his veins. He called Cole for a reason. A huge shot on the match. Back to back. Ten eliminations bit longer. Remember, those placement points are going to be huge here in a situation like this. That's why you see Revise staying alive. One of, our, one of our only top 10 teams still in this here as Revise holds it down as a solo player. His impact as a solo is going to be massive in a game like this, especially considering where they're at in the leaderboard. You can see him. Spots that player trying to drop it down low. That was a great opportunity for the 2v1. It's just too much to overcome as we get into our top three teams as Dubs and Xcept somehow, some way, have stolen away the high ground at the perfect moment. The other full duo left is at the ultimate low. That's Qual, that's Jack with Servski being that meat in the middle. He once held the high ground. He always held the high position. Now he holds on to third place as he gets taken out of the lobby. Qua and Jack look to finish it off strong here. Hammer play to knock down Xcept. Dubs sent into the storm. Qua looking to connect the shot. They're exchanging quick. Dubs goes down. It's all up to Jack. Will he be able to take on the fight there with Except despite his teammates still being in it? This, every shot's going to count here. Will he clean it up? And he does as Jack and Qua walk away with the elimination on Buga actually does convert before he goes down. But with Peter by cleaning him up, it looks like they're still going to be the champions, at least in this game of Slappy Shores. But with Swirl and Aoxy still in it, they need to hold down and be careful. 3 HP is not a lot to work with, especially in the final moments of the game. But here it is, folks. Here it all comes down to it. Six teams remain, five teams remain. And these players are dropping like flies here because that is what happens when the ninth zone begins. For Aoxy and Swirl, this is going to be a miracle victory if they somehow come on, on top. One of the busiest third parties, fourth parties that came in to start off the game. Joji has a claim to the high ground. He gets knocked. The Amzo set that's mine, snatches it away, sends him down to the low, and he's gonna follow up. Another shot. Danger Hero trying to keep Joji alive, but it's not enough for the likes of Yamzo. The conversation needs to be, is Iamzo one of the greatest? He continues to do things as a solo player. No one else can. And this lobby continues to show that story. Will Iamzo and Rise clean it up on the high ground? He's looking to connect the shots onto this player. So unsuspecting, but Rise almost going down, still clutches it up as Swirl of cold in this competition is unreal. He has put so many points here as a solo player that it is massive, but another team that is putting points on the board. It is Chess Genius and Inpin yet again. 
Nine eliminations, Jacob. This is the second time we've seen this. Waiting to the late game, waiting to the movie zones where everybody's in shambles. They force that high ground take and they hold on to it. But Cold is still going. This man has energy for days. And you can see him sneaking, prowling in the distance, trying to hunt the opponents. But the pressure from the high ground is stopping his plan. But up he goes. He said, you challenge me. I'll make sure you regret it. But bouncing in and out of zones, his opportunity is running out as his match run go. This is it here. Can Cold hold on? He gets oh an my. elimination or a knock on to Kanata. But Ager still in this game. He's looking to convert. And he does. A full elimination comes through. Cold now fights Ager's here. For it all. It's actually death on the other side of this. Another one coming through here for Cold. Can he be stopped? Another one. That's going to be the name of the game. DJ Cold does enough, but it's not enough. It's a solo player that can clutch up. I'm going to do it here. Final game of the day. Pressuring down below. He has everything he needs. He has a few resources. Tons of ammo to make this work, but he just needs to hold on. He's almost, almost looking like a solo weapon CS here. One team has the chance to call themselves a full duo. That's Burton Walkers that are towards the low ground, trying to stay ahead of zone. If Sphinx is not careful, he can be the next one eliminated out of this lobby, but maybe Pump has something to say about it. He wants to challenge Ages for the high ground, sending him tumbling down. That was his moment to strike. Didn't work out as he wanted, so Ages gonna hold on to be the king in the sky. Yeah, but how much longer can he hold on? What an elimination onto Pump. He can only hold on for so much more. 20 builds remaining, not too much to work with, but with the way the zone is pulling, he might be able to do it for the remainder of this game. You see Jake, Walkers, Vert, all down below. It is one duo and the rest are solos. Walkers and Vert looking to clean it up from the low ground, but on height, of course, he still remains. Timing has to be perfect here for Agers. He wants to try to disrupt the 2v1s, take advantage of the solo that's down, but it's not going to be a chance anymore. Down goes Jake. Burton Walker's in a 2v1 versus Agers here. And this is all for bragging rights here for the final game. We know who won, but who's going to be rewarded with the last victory round of FNCS and the East? And it's going to be Walker's. It's going to be Burton. Dollars picking up 70 grand for Kanata and Agers.